Good evening everyone. 23 days to Feast of Trumpets. As my granddaughter would say, 23 more sleeps and we're going to Opa. Hmm, yeah, that sounds very, very close, people. Yes, today we're going to discuss Enoch, the man who walked with God was raptured on Feast of Trumpets. And I will show you that in a moment. Uh, Enoch, when he heard that he was going to be translated, separated himself from the rest of all the people and he had time with God alone. Now, every year, uh, since the time of uh, since the time of Moses, they sep the Jews separated themselves for, uh, for 40 days. They repent of all the sins, examine their thoughts, because this time is very, very holy. It is a time when the new year starts. It is a time when the book of remembrance open, and everything else. The Feast of Trumpet is known for the dead. Uh, 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 of the dead to rise, and that is true. And that is what Feast of Trumpets is known for. It is also the time that the judgment will come, and that is why the Jews were so fearful about this day. And it is also known as no man knows the day and hour. And I'm going to surprise you when we read the book of Yasha, yes, Feast of Trumpets, the last seven years of the good years ends October the 7th. And we are in a sabbatical year, people. We are in a sabbatical year. God judges America the same way He would judge, uh, judge Israel. Every year, seven years, a smitha falls. You remember that? Then there's a, a decline of the of the of the dollar, and the, because America Israel is not obeying God's instructions of resting the land every seventh year, and there is a blessing when you do that. In a sixth year, God used to give Israel triple, yes, triple, not even double the amount of harvest so that they had enough for the for the sixth year, for the seventh year, and the next year, the eighth, the beginning of the first, the first year. That's right. That is God's blessing, people. And you remember, every uh, uh, on the seventh day, on the on the sixth day, God blessed them twice as much. They could have taken twice as much manna on this, but they didn't be rot for the, for the next day so that they may not work on that particular day. So God is very, um, uh, God is a holy God and He expects us to obey His commandments. Yes. So you remember the seven, uh, how Texas was, Texas was punished? Texas went through severe weather now recently in June. They were for, for weeks without uh, uh, power, even for that water. They had shortages and long lines just to get milk and water, uh, or even supply of gas for that matter. But let's get back to the subject. I'm going to give you an insert of the book of uh, Yasha. Now, Book of Yasha is uh, as a direct quotation from the Book of uh, Joshua. So, um, sit back and listen to this, and you will be very surprised. Now, Enoch was a man who walked with God. He was 65 years old when he begot Methuselah. Methuselah means when he dies, the flood will come. So you see, God used to speak names as, 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 as meaning. And Methuselah, sons of days, Methuselah lived for the, as the uh, oldest man in the Bible. Methuselah was 969 years old when he died. And 
Of course, the flood came seven days later after Enoch, not Enoch, Methuselah died. So there he had a prophetic name, by the way. And Enoch walked with God for 300 years before God took him. Enoch, Enoch, by the way, is, will be one of the two witnesses. He will be the second witness. Malachi, and Malachi uh, 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 to tell us that Elijah will come, and then you will tell me, no, Elijah already come. No, 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 Elijah didn't come. It was John the Baptist that was come. That, uh, Elijah must still come, people. And Israel have fifth cup in their, uh, uh, in the, uh, among the fifth cup, uh, the four cups, additional cup, the first cup, and that cup was known as the cup of Elijah because they expect Elijah to come. Yeah, and Enoch will be the second witness. Enoch had a good understanding about the, about the fallen angels in those days. And remember the fallen angels is returning, returning to earth. Satan and his fallen angels will be cast down to the earth with the Nephilim and everything will be on earth. And Enoch knows them. Enoch had 300 years of experience with the Nephilim. That is why Enoch is returning. Yeah, Enoch was the only, uh, there was a man that died. And by the way, Enoch, wa Enoch was translated and an escort by a chariot of fire. Yes, who else in the Bible did you find uh, went home with a chariot of fire? That's only another person. That person is Elijah. No, Moses did not go home with a chariot of fire. They fought with Moses' body. Satan fought. You read in the book of Jude, Satan fought over the body of Moses. Moses died. And if you still want to know, God mentioned three times, three times that their bodies, is now, and the dead bodies, he mentioned three times in the book of Revelation 11. Six, three times he mentioned it, and the dead bodies, and the dead bodies, and the dead bodies. Why? He will make sure now that Elijah in Enoch is dead. Yeah, God leaves us clues who those two people are. He gave us one in the Bible so that we must search for the other one. Yeah, praise God. Anyway, on to uh, um, the book of Enoch now. I want to give you uh, a few translations of the word Enoch walking with God. And Enoch walketh, walked habitually with God and he is not for God to have taken him. And another uh, translation says Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. Communing with God, says another translation and translation, and then he was there no longer because God took him. In Genesis, the, uh, Genesis 5 verse 24, the BBE translation says, And Enoch went on in God's ways, mm. and he was not seen again for God to keep. He spent his life in fellowship, English translation, with God, and then he disappeared because God took him away. Hmm. He spent his life in fellowship for 300 years. He spent his life in fellowship with God, and then he disappeared because God took him away. He enjoyed a close relationship with God throughout his life, throughout his 300 years. On 300 years is a long time, people. Then suddenly disappeared, suddenly disappeared because God took him. And the, now you come in this, uh, the uh, book of Yasha says, and the, the soul of Enoch, listen to this, and the soul of Enoch was wrapped in the instruction of the Lord, in knowledge 
and in understanding and ye wisely retire from the sons of men and secretly a secret himself from from them many days imagine being wrapped in the instruction of god now let's read from the book of yasha the book of yasha this is just excerpt of enoch and the underlining of course is mine and enoch lived 65 years and he began with tusala and enoch walked with god after he having begot with tusala and he served the lord and despised the evil ways of man the soul of enoch listen to this the soul of enoch was wrapped up in the instruction of the lord in knowledge and in understanding and he wisely retired from the sons of men and secreted himself from them many days uh, and it was 56 years of life and it was in his 56 years of life that lemak when adam died So he, uh, Enoch knew Adam. He was schooled by Adam. Yeah, and as I say, say, said earlier, uh, Enoch was a rookie, and only when he uh, uh, got married and when he, he, uh, his son was born, Adam uh, not Adam, Enoch started his walk with God. Yeah. So uh, and Adam died in the 930th year old was he at his death and his two uh, sons of course that was with Enoch and Methuselah his son buried him with great pomp as the burial of kings in the cave which God had told him do you know what when Abram was uh, came out of Iraq that is the area where Abram stayed he moved to the area of the promised land that God gave him and there he found a place he borrowed a, a bought a cave Adam not a, Abram bought a cave from the, the, the king and for, for a burial place and that is where Abram was was uh, buried and this is the same place where Adam died and even Abel in uh, 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 Abel that died was di uh, killed by uh, uh, actually Abel was the first person to die Adam was the next person to die after Abel yes yeah and the, uh, uh, as a, and that was the burial of kings remember even Joseph when he came out of out of uh, Egypt requested that they take his uh, uh, um, his bones and everything up uh, 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 to that same place uh, Jacob uh, uh, Isaac Jacob and everyone was was buried in this and this particular cave and this is the same place where all the righteous men were buried and this very very cave if you understand that was in Jerusalem people that was just outside of Jerusalem and if you know you want to know Jerusalem was where the garden was was the garden of Eden people yes and in the place or oh, in the place all the sons made a great mourning and weeping because of Adam it has therefore become a custom among the, the sons of men to this day now and Adam died because he ate of the tree of knowledge and his children after him and the, uh, as the Lord God had spoken and it was in the year of Adam's death uh, which was 243rd year of the reign of Enoch and in that time Enoch resolved to separate himself from the sons of men uh, uh, to the, and secret himself as the first in order to serve the Lord yeah, and Enoch did so but he did not entirely secret himself from them but kept away from the sons of men three days and went to them or uh, one day and that is uh, uh, that was a pattern that, uh, that Enoch followed and during the three days that he was in his chamber he prayed and praised 
uh, the Lord his God, and the day on which he went to appear to subjects, he taught them the ways of God, the Lord, and all they asked him about the Lord, he told them. When, uh, uh, when at the time Enoch heard this, he went and assembled all the inhabitants of the earth and taught them wisdom and knowledge. He gave them divine instructions, and he said to them, I have been required to send into heaven. I therefore do not know the day of my going. Do you know which else feast have that words? I therefore do not know the day of my going. That is feast of trumpets, people. Neither, and the, uh, neither the Son of Man, neither the angels do know the day. Yes, or the hour, for that matter. But here he scored the same words. Therefore I do not know the day of my going. And now read further. And now therefore I will teach you wisdom and knowledge, and I will give you instruction before I leave you. How to act upon the earth uh, whereby you may live, so, and he did so. And he taught them wisdom and knowledge, and gave them instructions, and reproved them. And he placed before them statutes and judgment to do upon earth, and made peace among them. And he taught them everlasting life, and dwelt with them uh, some time, teaching them these things. So he was teaching a lot of men, but you'll see now there was a certain group of people that just clung to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, Enoch because they didn't want to leave them. And he says here, at, um, at uh, uh, times the sons of men were with Enoch, and Enoch was speaking to them, and they lifted up their eyes, and the likeness of a great horse descended from heaven, and the horse paced in the air. Hmm. And they told Enoch what they had seen. And Enoch said to them, On my account does this horse descend upon the earth. The time is come when I must go from you, and I shall no more be seen by you. And it was after this that he rose up, and rode upon the horse, and he went forth, and all the sons of men went after him, about eight, listen to this, about eight hundred thousand men. That is a lot of men. All these people, all these men, they, I don't know, this is just called men. It probably could be women as well. I don't know. And they went with him, uh, a one day's journey, and the second day he said to them, Return home to your tents. Why will you go? Perhaps you may die. And some of them went from him, and those rem and yeah, and those that remained, some went, of course, you know, some of them went from him, and those that remained. So it wasn't all 800,000. So it says here, some of them went and some of them remained uh, with him. And those that remained went with him six days journey. And Enoch said to them every day, Return to your tents, lest you may die. But they were not willing to return, and they went with him. And on the sixth day, some of the men remained and clung to, uh, to Enoch, to him. And they said to him, We will go with thee to the place where thou goest. As the Lord liveth, death only shall separate us. And they urged so much to go with him that he ceased speaking to them. Uh, and they went after, went after him and yeah, and they went after him. And when the kings returned, they caused a census to be taken in order to know the number of remaining men that went with Enoch. And it was upon the seventh day, listen to this, the seventh day that Enoch ascended into heaven 
in a whirlwind. The seventh day or the seventh month, people, is actually the, uh, the first day of the seventh month. That day happened to be the seventh day, but happened to be the Sabbath day. Yes. On the seventh day that Enoch ascended into the heaven in a whirlwind with horses and chariots of fire. The only other person that uh, had this loyal, uh, royalty was Elijah people. In the same way, with chariots of fire, he was taken up in a whirlwind, that is Enoch, and both and Elijah, with horses or chariots of fire. And on the eighth day, all the kings that had been with him, with, uh, that, uh, that had been with Enoch, sent to bring back the number of men that were with Enoch in that place from which he ascended into heaven. And all those kings went to the place and they found the earth there was filled with snow. It, people never snowed in those days. It never rained in those days. Never. But here on this particular day, they found snow at that place. And upon that snow were large stones of snow. And uh, one said to the other, come let us break through the snow and see perhaps a man that remained with Enoch are dead. And are now under the stones of snow. And they searched but could not find him or this man for he had ascended into heaven. People, this is very serious, very interesting. Read the book of Yasha for yourself. It's, I believe it's one of the books, a biblical book, that should have been in the Bible with the book of Enoch itself. Enoch was completely, well, some of the, uh, the book of Enoch has really been uh, messed up, but there is a true one. They completely messed up and changed the words of Enoch. But when Jesus returned, the book of Yasha, including the book of Enoch, will have its rightful place again. People, this is my story tonight. Enoch was raptured. Yes, he was raptured on Feast of Trumpets. That's right. The same wording that has been placed, the same Feast of Trumpets is known for no man knows the day or the hour. That's what Feast of Trumpets because of the sighting of the moon. And it was on a new moon, the first day of, you can read it in Leviticus 24, I mean 23 verse 24. It is on the first day, it's a Sabbath day. That is actually the seventh day of the week from the previous month, the sixth month, into the, uh, into the new month. And that is uh, uh, called the first day of the week. Okay? So that is also called the first day of the month. That's what it's been called. But it is actually the seventh day. Be blessed, people. Jesus is coming. See you in the clouds.